Hey, so for this video, I'm going to talk about another uh, Emacs package that is used uh, for navigational purposes. So you know that in Emacs and in BIM, uh, you have like a uh, key combination or key presses that allows you to navigate the file a lot uh, faster. Like you, you can go by a paragraph or you maybe want to go forward in, in a word. Uh, I mean, that changes in, in BIM, I know. But you usually do that like whenever you want to get to somewhere like in your in your buffer. Now that's that's good, but let's uh, put it in an example, right? Let's say that I wanted to get, you know, my cursor is at the top of the screen, that I wanted to get to this S over here, this S, right? So if I will do it like the normal way, um, again, you, you will have to do a lot of key presses. Just as a side note, I'm using like a custom made uh, minor mode that allows me to uh, use modes like you will do in BIM, like normal and insert uh, modes, but with Emacs binding. So N and N is uh, you know bound to next line and P is to previous line. So just just so that you understand that on the right side of the of the screen, you're gonna be able to see what uh, key presses I'm, I'm actually activating. So anyways, if I were to do it like in the normal way, I'll probably do it like this. So for, forward, then next line, then forward, 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 until I reach it. Right. So th there were a lot of key presses involved in there. So this package, uh, ABI, allows you to go to a specific characters with a key sequence. So let's say that I wanted to get to that S. I have ABI bound to C8. And then it's, uh, you can see at the bottom of the screen that it's expecting for a character. So I want to go to the S. And it highlights every single uh, character that matches whatever you uh, gave us an input. So I want to go to the HL. And there we go. That's all I need to do instead of you know going through that. And it's in my opinion, a lot more error prone the other way because you have to sort of uh, like like you can you can miss it if if you don't move correctly. So I always found that it's a lot easier if you're navigating in 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 this buffer that way. Another useful thing, as you notice in the right side of the screen, the 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 character S was also highlighted. So let's say that you have, uh, let's go to history and events. Let's say that you have a lot of files open in the same frame. If you want to go to the G, like on the right corner of the screen, uh, you should be able to do it. All you have to do is press S and it will take you there. So it it sort of highlights every single character that it, that the current frame matches or that, that it's visible. So whenever that you're actually uh, debugging, instead of you know repeating over and over the next or the next line paragraph or whatever, you can activate it a lot faster. And also just to mention that it's more precise because you go to the character that you really want to go to that specific part of it. Uh, another useful thing that you can do is go to line. I mean, as you can see, I'm not actually activating uh, the line numbers. I just don't like them. I, I'd rather have a lot more space to edit the, the buffers. But if I wanted to do to go to a specific line, all I have to do in my case is press uh, GG, which is bound to AV go to line, I, I believe. And there it highlights every single line that I have visible at the moment. So I wanted to go to the to-do error handling thing in KA. I just press KA and my cursor is right there. So this is another really useful uh, package that you should look into it. Uh, it really helps you whenever you feel like you're doing too many key presses in the way that you edit things. Again, uh, the, the default way is it's good because it's, I mean, it's a lot faster than using the mouse or something. Uh, but it also involves a lot more key presses than it should. So anyways, if you have some questions, let me know and, and I'll have you out if there's something I can do. <laughs> so thanks for watching.